Hey guys, Sean G back with another video. Guys, I'm gonna try this again to show you guys how I clean my chitlins. I did open up the other bucket and this is what they look like. Uh, they're not a bad batch, but uh, I don't wanna make this video long, guys, cause I don't know when it'll cut off or it get to acting crazy. So uh, let me get into the video. Happy, happy Friday, by the way, guys. I hope everybody is uh, having a blessed one as well as a safe one out there. Okay, I'm trying to get this little part here uh, unthawed, but like I said, I'm not going to let the video run uh, that much, guys. Just uh, wanted to show you guys how I clean my chilies. Uh, besides sitting them in water and... Uh, letting them unthaw on their own. Um, basically, when they unthaw, you're looking for a film. And uh, this is on a good note, guys, because this is also a good bucket. Uh, there's nothing on this one. Uh, so let me find one that has a film on it so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully this one here. Let me scoot over this way. Yeah. You guys see this? Y'all see that? That is a film, guys. And you have to take all that off of there uh, in order to make sure that your chiller is clean, guys. And what you do is you just take it. And it's easy to come off once it's... Uh, once all the uh, chitlins had uh, unthawed, you just peel off that film and make sure you get all of it, guys. Pretty easy uh, to come off of there, but you go back through it once you then pull that film off of there to make sure that there's no more film uh, on it, guys. You do not want this in your chitlins. This is not edible. Uh, so guys, do not cook this in your chitlins. And you will know that your chitlins is not clean if you have this type of residue uh, in your chitlins. So make sure that you're cleaning your chitlins thoroughly, guys. And I'm just gonna go through here and make sure that there's no more film left on it. Y'all see that? See how you can see through that? That's how you want your chillings to look, guys. You do not want that film on your chillings at all. This is what you want your chillings to look like once you then clean them, guys. And I go through rinsing my chillers two to three times after I didn't clean them, guys. So uh, just making sure even with that little vein-looking thing, that needs to come off of there as well, guys, to make sure that you have a smooth, smooth, clear uh, chitlin', guys. And when you're cooking your chitlins and they bubble up and you see that brown bubble stuff, Wash that, rinse that off, guys. Make sure you pour.